Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is um, the Touch and Agree Ministries prayer line. I mean, uh, excuse me, the Touch and Agree Ministries with Prophetess Elonda Ingram. Um, and uh, just welcome you all to this, uh, this uh, live broadcast at this time. Um, again, this is uh, Touch and Agree Ministries uh, with Prophetess Elonda. Um, I'm Thank God for the opportunity to come back and share um, a word that uh, God had um, placed on my heart. Um, so at this time, we're just going to go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We thank you for this day, Lord, because this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, we just come just asking that you would forgive us of all of our sins, creating us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us. We come acknowledging you in all our ways that you may direct our path. Lord God, we ask that you uh, will just have your way. Help me to decrease, Lord God, that you may increase. Lord God, we ask that you bless your people on today, Lord God. Bless the hearers of this word, Lord God. And, and Father God, we ask that you bless those who are uh, having experiencing some difficulties in this time, Lord God. We uh, ask that you uh, touch the people in Texas, Lord God, the state of Texas, Lord God. We ask that you, uh, Lord God, provide for them, Lord God. Lord God, just have your way to uh, provide help for them at this time, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we ask that you just continue to lead us and guide us in all our ways. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So at this time, um, I thank you for again for the opportunity to be able to come before you all just to uh, give a, uh, sh uh, a little short uh, message that God had laid on my heart. So we today the topic we'll be discussing or talking about is uh, about faith. You know, it's with so much going on in this world um, and so much going on in some of our lives. You know, and um, Things are happening so fast, you know, and the thing is that we must continue to hold on to faith and trust that and believe that God is there for us, no matter what the situation may be. You know, some situations it's not easy to uh, have faith, you know, to believe that God is there. But God is there all the time. He said he would never leave us, nor would he forsake us. He would be with us until the end of this world. And so... Um, that, with that being said, we're gonna, um, I'm going to share a couple of verses of scriptures with you, passages of scriptures with you. And I'm going to go to with the first scripture. It's Hebrews um, chapter 11, verse 1. We're going to start there. And it says, uh, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So what does... Uh, the word faith means, you know, uh, faith uh, means to, com according to the dictionary, you know, uh, complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Okay. Um, another uh, meaning for faith is strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. Okay, so that's what the the uh, the dictionaries are stating. But what is the true meaning of faith? Okay, faith believes. Faith means belief, firm persuasion, assurance, firm conviction for the assurance that the Lord is working, even though we cannot see it. Faith knows that no matter what the situation is in our lives or some someone else's that the Lord is working it out. And so, you know, um, with the coronavirus and um, different things that's going on in this uh, world, you know, um, all the snow we just recently had and, you know, things are just happening again so fast that we don't know. Some people, you know, we don't know who to trust when we go through these difficult times, you know, whether um, sometimes we just, uh, you know, focus on the situation and we not really take our eyes off the situation and place it on God. So, um, and sometimes it's really difficult, you know, and we all go through difficult situations in our lives that 
make it difficult for us to hold on to faith. But the uh, word of God says that if we have faith as a grain of uh, mustard seed, you know, we could say to these mountains to be that removed. And so, um, so that's one, you know, one way, you know, just a, just a small grain of mustard seed, a mustard seed of faith. And, you know, just to uh, work miraculous wonders, you know, just to have that mustard seed of faith. You don't need a lot of faith. You just need a little faith, you know, and just work that little faith, you know. And the more you work, walk in faith, the more you work your faith, the more you can uh, conquer your fears. You know, sometimes it's difficult to conquer fears, you know, because the, the spirit of fear could be really, it's a really strong spirit, you know, especially if you don't tackle it on um, head on, you know, when you first feel yourself starting to fear a little bit, you know, no, conquer it with the word of God by overcoming it with faith, you know. So the opposite of faith, I mean, the opposite of fear is faith, you know, so we want to have faith. We want, don't want to fear. God tells us not to fear. So we want to walk in faith today. Okay, so, uh, so um, let me see. So how how do we receive faith? Okay, let's see. I had some scriptures here. I'll tell you what, let me go to my little scriptures here. So how do we... Um, I, uh, let's talk about the uh, Bible characters that, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, uh, got my little stuff all mixed up here. So um, Romans 10, 17, how do we receive faith? Okay, it says, so, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if you're not hearing the word of God, you can't have you. You're not going to have any faith to believe that God can work the situation out. So faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. The more you hear the word of God, the more you can work your faith because you have something to come back your fears. The word of God. Use the word of God to have to exercise your faith. Okay. And then hold on to it, you know. Don't let it go. And say, um, so another one that says, um, going to walk, read another scripture. It says, uh, Galatians 3, 24 and 6. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us into Christ that we might be justified by faith. But after that, faith is come. We are no longer under a schoolmaster, for we are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So, the, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Okay, But after the faith is come, we no longer need a schoolmaster. We don't need no schoolmaster, we just need the word of God. You know, so that's what we should be constantly reading and studying and praying, you know, to uh, utilize our faith. And sometimes we put between what they would say a rock and a hard place and we don't know which way to go. You know, we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to work it out. No, use the word of God and exercise your faith. OK. So um, let's see. Says in um, Hebrews. Let me go back to Hebrews. Okay, let's see. Hebrews. Sorry about that. I had some scriptures up here. Okay, so let's talk about some uh, Bible characters that uh, had faith. Okay. Um. Hebrews, okay, let's go to Hebrews chapter 11. Again, we're going to start with um, verse 11, chap I mean chapter 11, we're going to start second verse. 
for by it the elders obtain a good report. So by faith, they obtain a good report. So who report are we going to believe today? Are we going to believe the report of the Lord? Or are we going to believe the, the devil's report, which is fear? So we, which one are we going to believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. So that's what the elders, they obtain a good report. Okay? So um, verse 3, through faith we understand that the world's were framed by the word of God, okay? So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear, okay? So the, evidence, the uh, see, uh, now faith is, uh, verse 1 again, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So we can use that. Okay, so verse 4, by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he, being dead, yet speaketh. Okay? So, by faith, Abel exercised his faith. He offered God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. We all know the story of Abel and Cain in the book of Genesis, okay? And say by verse 5, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, okay? And was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. So we please God when we have uh, faith. You know, when we fear, we're not pleasing God. And, and we, we, we don't get nowhere. We just get worried. We get all broken down. You know, some might be crying. Some might be falling out the box trying to figure out how they're going to work it out. No, just read the Word of God. Exercise your faith. I know it's hard. Sometimes it says uh, it's easy said than done. But if you just do it and the more you do it, the more you read the Word of God, the more you pray and seek God, hey, you're exercising your faith. You're not fearing. You're taking that uh, fear and com you come back in it with your faith, okay? So that means you're trusting God, okay, by using your faith, okay? Six, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he that he is a rewarder, rewarder of him that del diligently seek him, okay? So without faith, we're not pleasing God, you know? So the more you work your faith, the more you please God. All you need is a mustard seed of faith, okay? And let God be God in your situation. You know, let him be the ruler of everything, you know, okay? Verse 7, it says, By faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. Okay? By faith, Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen yet, moved with fear. He was fearing. But he still had a little mustard grain of faith that he went on and did what God had called for him to do. Okay? And uh, he prepared an ark to the saving of his house, okay, by the, the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. So what is God is calling you to do for today that you're fearing uh, the, of the outcome of what it's going to, what it's going to be like, what it's going to look like, what it's going to sound like, you know, um, what are you fearing today instead of exercising your faith, you know, if you use your faith you know, you'll have a little more peace, you know. With faith, is peace. You know, with fear, you're worrying, you know. And worrying is not good for your, uh, your health. Anxiety is not good for your health. Some people have anxiety attacks over just the littlest, simplest things, you know. That's real. And so we don't want to be faced with those situations. And, you know, worrying bring on health issues, you know. So we don't want that, okay. Verse 8, 
By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive, wait a minute, which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he just went out. <laughs> he didn't know what was where he was gonna be, he didn't know where he was going. And God is moving people in, in this season in different uh, areas, moving them to different states, different locations, different housing and place. Uh, so are you going to fear? Are you just going to uh, trust God and just move? Just do, what he, do whatever it is he's uh, asking you to do. Okay? Yeah, we wonder sometimes, well, oh, wow. Is this for me or should I do it or shouldn't I do it? Yes, God is calling for it. If God's telling you to do it, then you must do it. You know, obedience is better than sacrifice. Okay? So whose report are you going to believe? I'm going to believe, believe the report of the Lord. So that means I'm going to exercise my faith that God has given me, that little mustard grain of faith when situations arise. Even today, I'm faced with a little situation, but, you know, I, I, I choose to have faith. I choose to believe God, you know, and I believe that he will work it out for my good, okay? So, okay, by verse 9, by faith he served Abraham, sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him, with him of the same promise. Okay? For verse 10, For he looked for a city which had, had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Okay? Verse 11, Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive, conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised, okay? She judged God faithful because God had promised. So by faith, you know, uh, uh, Sarah uh, herself received strength to conceive seed. So, you know, um, just by having faith. She was able, the more she built her faith up, she was able to have strength, and she was able to conceive and, and have seed and bear children, okay? Therefore, 12, therefore sprang there even of one in him as good as dead. So, uh, so, so many as the stars of the sky and the multitude as the sand, which is by the seashore, innumerable. Okay? Okay, so, um, and it says, verse 13, I think I'm going to stop there. It says, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they, for, for, 14, for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. So all these died in faith. They had faith, okay? Not, re not receiving not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. They seen them afar off, okay? But, and, but they embraced their faith, okay? And were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth, okay? Again, you know, we all um, are here for a reason. God has called us for, to uh, do a work for him. And we must have faith enough to trust God that he will bring us out victorious, no matter what the situation may be. We must trust him and believe that he's going to provide for us. We must trust and believe him that he is going to heal us. We must trust and believe that he's going to save our unsaved loved ones. You know, we pray for all of them today. And we must trust and believe that he's going to provide for the people in Texas, you know, and uh, wherever tragedies are, um, whatever is going on in this world, we just trust and believe that God has a greater plan for all of us, okay? And uh, so uh, I want to read, let's see, 
I think that, that that's going to be it on that one. But we see here there's this, the Bible is, is full of uh, um, scriptures um, for faith, you know. Um, it says, um, let me go to Ephesians, Ephesians 6, 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Yeah, the shield of faith. Use God's word. You know, it would shield, it would shield and protect you. You know, um, it would cover you. Psalms 91, you know. So we must um, uh, cover ourselves and have faith. Don't fear. Let's not fear in these days, you know. Um, I, I can remember uh, hearing some of the older people saying that they didn't want to see some of the things that was going to happen on the face of this earth. Well, some of them are still here and some of them aren't. And, you know, um, however, you know, we just have to have faith and trust that God is going to protect us all, no matter what um, it looks like, no matter what we're seeing, no matter what we're hearing. So um, my thing is I'm trusting and believing God. So um, let's see. What is faith in daily life? What is faith in daily life? According to the dictionary, faith has two basic meanings. The first is complete confidence in a person or a plan, and etc. And the second is a strong belief in a supernatural power or powers that control human destiny. Okay? Excuse me. That is God. He is the one who controls human destiny. So why... Um, are we fearing today? We should have faith and trust and believe him. But sometimes we're so caught up in the worldly things and things that's going on in this world, it takes and blinds our faith. It blinds us. You know, we have faith to go out here some, and do all kinds of other stuff. Why don't we have faith enough to believe and trust God, you know? And um see... It says, how, how do you demonstrate um, faith? Finding ways to express your faith in everyday life. How do you demonstrate it in everyday life? Okay? Um, give something back. One of the best ways to express your faith in your everyday life is to keep the teachings of Christ fresh in your mind. Okay? Uh, rail against materialism. Okay? Materialism is rife in the modern world, and it, and it even has a stronghold over many treasured religious holidays, okay? Another way, be creative, okay? Make it a family affair. It says that's how you can demonstrate faith, you know, in your uh, everyday life, Okay? So, what is the importance of faith? Faith isn't just a notion that some people hold on to in tough times. Faith is an important element of all human life on earth. Faith is what helps to get us through, okay? Faith uh, illuminating the pathway in times of darkness, helping to give us strength in times of weakness. Without faith, we are nothing. Without faith, we are nothing. So we want to exercise um, faith. And it says, what can faith do? Faith brings all benefits of salvation into our lives. Ephesians um, 2 Eight, chapter 2, 8 and 9, okay? This includes healing, prosperity, peace, love, joy. First, first Peter, oh, uh, sorry about that. I think uh, somebody, 
just got uh, lost my little spot here. I'm sorry, um, but anyway, so uh, I could remember a time, um, maybe about um, two years ago, I had to exercise my faith, and how I exercised my faith is that um, when the doctors told me that I had to have surgery, and I haven't heard that I needed surgery in ten years that I have been um, was had after ten years of being injured. Uh, ten years have gone past, you know, gone by. So anyway, all them years, nobody told me I need. They told me I needed surgery, but I couldn't have surgery. So then one doctor come along and say you have to have surgery. Well, I went home. I told him, you know, I just looked at him and you know, kind of like boohooed a little bit because that's not what I was trusting to believe in. But however, I went home and prayed to God, and the answer I got is trust me. Okay, and so again, sometimes we're going to be put in difficult situations, but we need to trust God. So that is what I had to do. I had to trust God. Okay, because we don't know what's going to come, what's, going, what's coming at us down the road. We don't know what's going to happen from day to day, minute to minute, second to hour, hour. We don't know what's going to happen, and so we have to put our trust in God. So when I put my trust in God, I'm still standing today because I'm believing God for healing. I'm believing God for deliverance. I'm believing God for, uh, you know, for things in my life. So we must hold on to the Word of God and exercise it and use it, you know, to help us to get through, okay? So um, with that being said, and I, I want to go to Mark, I'm sorry, <laughs> Mark chapter 9, verse 23. It says, Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. So if we can believe, all things are possible to us if we believe. Have faith and believe. And all things are possible to us. So some of us are doing things that we never thought we would be able to do in our, uh, in our entire life. You know, we thought we thought God didn't wasn't gonna help us to do it, but God is seeing us through some things that we uh, thought wanted to do years ago that we never did and we couldn't do. So we're, we're in a season where God is. If you just trust and believe God, He's going to do it for you. He's going to do it for you. Just trust and believe Him. So at this time, I'm going to uh, um, close, and I thank you all for um, tuning in to hear um, this word of encouragement, to have faith and trust and believe God that he would be there with you and he would see you through whatever situation that you are going through. Pray my strength in the Lord and continue to pray for me as I continue to do what it is that God has called for me to do.